Hello everybody. It's Sunday and it's time for my weekly update on what's going on in my world. And so I'm still alive and kicking and still no signs of coronavirus in my household. So this is a good thing. I've been working on a painting all week for my um, boyfriend's dad, who was a railroad worker. Um, he's retired now. But I wanted to do something special for him for Father's Day this year. So I had started this painting of a scene. And when I first started it, I looked at Patrick and I said, have you ever seen this a, a scene like this with a waterfall where there was a railroad track going over it? And he told me yes, and that indeed um, his father had a photograph of uh, a scene very similar to that. I said, well, I think I'm going to do this, and I'm going to do it for your dad. So this is what I've been working on. And it's still got some work to be done on the train itself and a little bit of detail at the, at the base of the waterfall that I've still got to work on. But anyway, that's going to be for Father's Day, when I get it finished, to be sent to his dad. And I'm going to start another painting later on this week. I'm not doing any more work on the um, doll that I was working on until I get some more supplies in that I have ordered. Um, and I'm, and I'm going to have to order some hair to try and do the rooting with and my rooting tools. So that's where that's at. I'm looking forward to this doll to actually be finished, but I'm going to show you why I am going to end up just taking him all the way down to the base again. Now, this is what he looks like right now. And I just cannot get the individual hairs fine enough on him. And so I want to take him all the way down and I'm going to redo the face and the, then I'm going to root the hair. And it's been a real learning experience with this doll because I'm doing regular skin tones with this doll, not an exotic skin tone. I'm just doing an Asian American skin tone and a uh, Chinese American with, that's half Choctaw and half Chinese. Um, and so it's, it's been a little difficult for me uh, getting the skin coloring right and I, I know what I have to do now to get the skin tone the exact shade I need it to be, but um, a lot of the uh, modeling and, and, and the blushing and everything didn't show through as nicely as I was hoping it would, so I'm going to just strip it back down, and when I do it, I'm going to make sure that um, the paint is exactly the thinness that it needs to be. I'm going to be very, very careful with it. And uh, it's only the, it's really only the face that needs to be redone. The, the limbs look fine. It's just, it, the face was, it wasn't working. So I'm redoing that again. And uh, I'm going to root the hair instead of trying to paint the hair because I have found out I just can't 
it's a lot different from doing it on a canvas. When I do it on a canvas, um, I can do the hair and it looks like hair when I get through with it. It's not going to be really fine, thin, you know, individual hairs like I need to do on a doll. But I can make the hair look reasonably like real hair on a canvas. Um, people are just not my forte though, so, uh, because skin tones would drive me up a wall. And so when I was starting to work with the Reborns, I thought, oh, this will be really a good learning thing for me because I'll be able to actually get skin tones right. <laughs> yeah. I'm getting there. I'm getting there. Over there is mischief. I took the rug and it got washed today. It was just really, the area rug just really wasn't. <clears throat> what it needed, it, it was, it was getting stuff caught in it, and it needed a good washing, and it, it's, it's not something I can actually vacuum very easily, because of the way that it'll slide around, because it's not one of those things that's got the anti-slip backing to it, it's just a inexpensive area rug. But I'm, The house is doing much, much better. I've, I've actually got, it's been defunctified for the most part. And I've got everything back in the way it needed to be, mostly. The storage room got thinned out a bunch over the last week or so because Patrick finally got around to going through all of his electronic stuff and thinned that out. There's still a lot of it there, but it's, a lot is gone. And I've decided I'm still going to have to uh, throw out a bunch of stuff and um, storing my, my art stuff back there isn't working. So I'm going to get a uh, set of um, drawers that I could put in here, along this wall here, and put everything, organize everything in that, so that all my arts and crafts supplies are stored where I can get to them in the area that I'm working in. Um, I was hoping to turn the storage room into an arts and crafts studio. It's just we, we have way too much stuff for me to be able to do it, even thinning it out, and uh, there are times when I feel like just hauling everything off and getting rid of it and just starting over from scratch, but can't do that. The uh, guest bedroom, which is going to be turned into a nursery for the reborns, um, I don't think we're going to have any guests come up. We're not going to have any visitors, what with this pandemic. Uh, it's just, we're not, we're not going to be able to do it. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm just going to make that room just for the Reborns. And um, I am getting a frame for the uh, air mattress so that there will actually be a twin bed in there on the very very slight off chance that we ever do have somebody show up, but um, the room will be for the reborns, and so um, once I get everything situated there, it's going to be, I'm going to feel a lot better, it's going to have a big weight lifted off of me. I can just stay positive. You know how much I appreciate you guys. You'll never know. Because all of you in the Reborn Doll community and in the crochet community and in the crafting community, the arts, artists 
on YouTube that I watch. And there's a lot of you that I watch all the time. I want you to know that every single one of you, whether I'm always watching your, your channel or I just visit it once in a while, I appreciate you. I think you're wonderful people and you do so much that inspires me. And I'm really concerned about what's going on in your life, in your world. And I just, I enjoy very much the uh, videos that you do, whether they include your family or your pets or, or it's just, you know, about your drawing or your uh, doing a reborn doll or, or um, the, the crochet work that you're doing. Whether or not you include your family in that conversation, you've invited me into your world for just a little bit. And I appreciate that because it makes me feel less isolated and less lonely. And I try to do that as well in my videos. Sharing my, my world with you is not about getting attention for myself. It's about letting you know that you're not alone in the world. And uh, to, no matter how isolated we are because of our situation in life, whether it's to deal with to do with what's going on in the world right now, or whether it's some other situation, uh, there's somebody who understands, somebody who's going through it too. Somebody who has mental health issues, physical health issues. Maybe not the same ones as you have, but have them. So to that extent, I'm going to understand what you're going through. And I want you to know that you're not alone. And a little bit of love and compassion goes a very long way in, in keeping me going every day. And if I can give that love and compassion to you and say I love you and I want you to survive and I want you to be healthy and you can make it. My message in my vlogs has always been you can make it, you can do this. I'm going to do this. I can do this. I'll make it. I will survive. I'm real good at surviving. <laughs> I don't know that I'm a whole lot good at being uh, I don't know if I'm ever going to be the really wealthy person you know that goes out and pays ten thousand dollars for a doll. I don't know if I'll be that, but I do know that my dolls make me happy, and my art makes me happy, and my crochet work makes me happy. If you find things that make you happy, that you have a passion for, that you that you want to share with others, or you know, just something that lights up your life. If you find that, you're ten steps ahead. You don't have to be the richest person in the world financially. If you've got things that you can do that make you happy, that bring happiness to you and other people, then you are a wonderful person and you have a very wealthy spirit inside. So, on this last Sunday of April, I want to tell you, we can do this. We will survive. Thank you so much for watching. My email and my Mailing address are in the description below if you want to get in touch with me and my Patreon page. 
and I will talk at you later. Bye-bye.